Okay, so we just cut our arc length. This is the piece that I've just finished. You can see I'm already getting into the little bit longer range here. I'm definitely um, into, I've, I've completed my first, this will be the uh, complete first octave of my instrument. So I have plenty of pipes cut. Um, eventually I'll get up to the seven foot range, which is getting pretty long. But um, yeah, so this is that one. Uh, I'll be measuring a G. What I do, um, there are actually a couple different methods for this. Uh, some of you might think it's easiest to use a digital tuner. Um, I've tried that method and it does yield pretty good results. To be honest with you, um, it was really it was having a hard time tracking the pitch because the transient attack is really quick and the pitch goes away pretty quickly. Let's see if you can hear that. So it has a little bit of decay but it, it's not real long. Um, what I actually found to be better than that um, was to find the resonant point of the tube and sing into it. So, do I can sing kind of low, but uh, singing the the ooh sound into the pipe like this. Ooh, that gives you a great deal of resonance, um, a lot of sustain in that note, so that the tuner can actually adjust to that pitch and find what pitch you're actually um, looking for. What I've actually found to be better though was taking a keyboard device of some kind. I mean, you can use an electronic keyboard, you can use an actual piano. I have this little handy uh, melodica, melodica, um, and it's a little instrument that you blow into, and you play it like this. And so, as you can see, it's a chromatic keyboard instrument. And so I will just uh, hit this instrument as I play into it, So as you can see, the note is quite a bit flat. The, the arc that I've cut, my actual tube, is probably about a half step flat right now. Now at this point I have two options. I can either leave it at the F sharp that it's currently tuned to, or I can cut it short to the G and then cut a new tube for my F sharp. What I think I want to do to save a little bit of tubing is to leave it at the F sharp and then cut another tube a little bit shorter than this one. And what that does is if I were to cut this one to a G, I'd probably have to cut off a couple inches of this, about, about that much space right there. Probably about that much. Um, and basically what I do for that is just cut, it, cut off each one of these ridges incrementally until I get um, into a relatively in tune um, area. But what I think I'm going to do is actually just leave this one at an F sharp, cut a new one a little bit shorter, that way I'm not using as much uh, spare tubing, I don't have to throw away as much, uh, which is a little more efficient. So I'm leaving this one at an F sharp for now, but before I get done with it, I want to make sure I grab a piece of my athletic tape. I've, I've learned that athletic tape re works really well um, because it sticks really well, um, it's cloth, so it's easy to write on. Uh, with a permanent marker and easily easily visible. So I'll take a piece, stick it on my tube, double check tuning one last time. Sounds pretty good. I'll mark it with my permanent marker. I'd recommend not using a black permanent marker because that might look a little bit like the tube. I use green here. F sharp or G flat if you want to mark it that way. There, I've got my F sharp marked. This section is complete. I'll now use this one as a template. Um, I could also use my A flat again and go a little bit longer for a G, but I want to go a little bit shorter than this F sharp. So I'll probably cut off an inch or inch and a half for this F, F sharp. Again, that process looks like this. I will simply grab the coil, which is over here, lay my arc on top of it, and then I'll just stick my knife in where I want to start cutting at. Or you can mark it with a marker, like a, if you have a silver sharpie or something like that, you can mark it like that and then cut it. Um, or even a, another piece of athletic tape, mark it on the ridge that you want to cut it at. 
If you're using PVC pipe, a black permanent marker works really well. Um, but I just like sticking my knife right in there. So um, I'm going to cut my next arc.